Hey everyone, uh, I, we've had snowmageddon here again. We got about another foot of snow over last night and a little bit the day before. So I came out to the garage here to get the old snow blower fired up and go clear the snow again. But somebody had asked previously, well, a couple of people had asked for a, a tour of the, the shop, garage, whatever you don't call it. Um, so I figured I'd just do a quick one while I was in here. I'll start in this corner. There's obviously my, my breaker panel. Uh, I keep spare tire for my SUV. This is my work truck basically and I go through tires at a crazy rate so if I get a flat I just swap one over until I, you know, whatever. It's, it's good to have a spare. Um, I keep a locker over in this corner and inside I just keep some junk up there. Set of coveralls, a welding jacket, um, camera cases, um, a lockout kit down there for getting into cars and done. <laughs> have a little light in here. Just lights things up. Uh, mirror up there. Uh, this is a conversion chart for metric to standard. Just tells you the various sizes. Uh, some phone numbers of auto parts places. An old calendar. Flag from Mexico a friend sent me that lives in Mexico obviously. Yeah this is just an old school locker that I bought and painted red and put a a lock on it, not that I ever lock it. Uh, down there is an old wooden school desk that my wife bought at a garage sale, planning to sand it down and refinish it. I started to sand it down and it's been sitting for about two years. Uh, a little homemade dustpan I made out of sheet metal and a bicycle handlebar that I bent and riveted to it. Works good. Uh, this thing has been awesome. I bought this Canadian tire if it ever focuses here, I think for like 30 bucks on sale. It's a 50 foot self retracting cord reel. And it's awesome, I mean it'll reach all over the garage, reach out into the driveway, and then you just, and it has the lighted cord in so you know it's, it's working. And I had a, a plug put in right off the box there. There's my guard rat up there, and there's this smaller guard rat friend down there. Um, I keep shovels, and rake yards, some yard stuff. Most of the stuff I keep in the shed. I plan on getting rid of most of this stuff too, probably in spring. It's too cold. Uh, some car ramps, uh, floodlights, a couple of floor jacks, a uh, big drain pan. It's good for draining. Uh, you can use it for oil, but I use it for antifreeze on changing rads and rad hoses and stuff. Holds a lot. Uh, back there is a weed burner torch that I use. The gas cans in this this cardboard file thing. I've got it propped up off the ground so it doesn't get wet. I just keep uh, different light bulbs in there. I think it is, yeah, for the ceiling and light bulbs throughout the garage. It's a bunch of synthetic oil. Um, and up here is my my shelf that I made. It's just out of two by fours, and it's I made it sized to hold paint cans. But I've got paint cans in there, all sorts of other things. The bigger stuff that won't fit in, I just stick up top. But paint, uh, car products, uh, Evapor Rust, best stuff for rust. Paint, acetone, paint strippers, carb cleaner, brake cleaner, belt dressing, lithium grease, just all sorts of crap. Brake fluid, power steering fluid, extra propane, acetone, sea foam, awesome sea foam. Best metal polish there is, Autosol. Um, some oil filters for some of our cars. Back there, there's some some more oil and transmission fluid and stuff. Uh, ladder, keep the bikes on this stand. I'm gonna get them out of here probably this summer too, but they're not too bad right now in the wall stacked above each other on that stand. That stand, I've, I got it at uh, some liquidation place. It was really cheap, it was like 40 bucks on sale. And it just has, it, it, it'll stand by itself, but I have a, a bolt in the top just to hold it. Uh, and there's my floor creeper over there and this red dolly I use all the time in here. This colorful drawer stand thingy on wheels I got from Ikea years ago. I kept it in the house beside my computer for printer paper and stuff, but now it's out here and I keep all car wash supplies in it. Over here behind the door is a bunch of scrap metal that I use, a bunch of angle iron, various lengths, some rebar, a uh, whole bunch of sheets of expanded metal, two feet by four feet. I bought a bunch of 50 of them, I think it was, for 40 bucks from a welding place. They were cutoffs from a job they had and they just wanted to get rid of them. Uh, there's my door, my key rack, 
thermometer, barometer, clock, thermostat for the garage, switches, uh, first aid kit, very important, plug in uh, my minister credentials, uh, three Canadian one dollar bills, we don't have Canadian one dollar bills anymore, we use a loony coin, so those are three uncut consecutive serial number ones, I've had those forever. And this is my little tool cart that I use, you know, if I'm working out in the driveway or something, I can just push it out. And I just keep basic hand tools, screwdrivers, a pry bar, different kind of pliers, some scissors, um, folding Allen keys, uh, a plug, roll of tape back there, metric wrenches, some gloves, magnetic thing, bonker, uh, old cheap socket set works, um, some wire strippers, a flashlight with a magnetic tool, tire gauge, knife and a pen. Underneath there there's a battery charger, a, a floodlight spotlight, cordless spotlight, it's really bright. Of course watch, oh no, it's, it's on. It's, it's a lot brighter than it looks. And a hammer and a cheater pipe that I use. And down below are two sets of jack stands. And we move over here and this is my big old Forney welder, it's, it's 240 volt. And it's a beast. It'll weld anything. I paid 50 bucks for that off, off Kijiji, which is like Craigslist in the United States. And it's, it's just awesome. I've had it for years. It weighs a ton. That thing's probably two, three hundred pounds. It's the, the core inside of it is is huge wound core of copper. So it's probably worth like 150 bucks in copper alone. Then I've just got a little little oven thingy for powder coating and baking paint. I don't do any powder coating, I plan to. I use it to bake paint on small parts that I paint. And just a little fan that rotates. And I've got some spare welding helmets and a welding cap back there. Um, over here, chop saw that I put on a stand. My little stool, rolling stool. Uh, step ladder. Behind there is a piece of cardboard I keep just for when I'm spray painting things. That's my hi-fi sound system, some CDs. And my, my, my thermometer thingy window. Um, my vice, it's just a cheap vice, has the pipe jaws on the bottom. I've had it for uh, six, seven years I want to say, and it's been awesome. It works good. Um, some, some of my grinders, I keep them mounted on a bracket I've just made out of welded angle iron here. Mounted it to the front of the thing, it doesn't get in the way, and I just let the cords dangle and kick them underneath the, the bench. Underneath the bench, just a box of junk, recycling bin for cans. Sawdust for oil spills, antifreeze, windshield washer fluid, water, oil, all that junk. Uh, power bar I have in the front, a fridge, up top, some little parts containers, a little book rack for magazines and, and welding books and stuff like that, some Allen keys, some cordless drills, a uh, cheap little bench grinder I bought for 20 bucks used, and it's I just use the wire wheel on it. It's not very powerful, but it, it's good for cleaning up old tools, some acetone, ATF solution, more sawdust for spills. Just some cans and, and funnels. Up here, paper towel, little light. Suzuki thing off the side cover of one of my old motorcycles. Torch. Uh, some of my guys. Hula Girl, Zombie, Bacon Guy, G.I. Joe, Sigmund Freud, Alien, uh, Einstein, and Jesus. He doesn't have Jesus. Motorcycle, tractor, and another clock. Um, up there is my Ducati flag and my Isle of Man flag. Um, move along, I'll just step back here, give you a better view of the workbench. I built this workbench out of, I think it was 18 2x4s, two, two sheets of 3 quarter inch plywood. Was it three sheets of 3 quarter inch plywood? And 250 wood screws. It's a very heavy bench, it weighs a ton. I don't have it bolted to the wall or anything, but it's, it doesn't go anywhere. On top I took one of these uh, cloth tape measure thingies and stuck it down and then I put Gorilla clear tape over it and it hasn't come unstuck. It's been there for well over a year. This is my little, it used to be a beer fridge, now it's a pop fridge. Just an old dorm fridge that I painted red, painted the shadow lines, bent up some drawer pulls out of sheet metal and put some chrome trim on them, stuck a snap-on sticker on it. Um, right now it's, yeah, it's got some coke in it, Gatorade. Bottle opener, it's my drill press with the the four-way vise, rotate the handle, move it in and out. Um, small Canadian flag, Canada 150 anniversary flag, calendar that I need to replace, 
Back here is a bunch of my chargers for cordless things and batteries. Drill index with some of my drills I use the most. Honestly, I use these step bits the most. Um, uh, belt sander and, and, and buffer. Use it all the time. My compressor back there, it's a 60 gallon Sanborn compressor. Works good, fairly quiet. I've got this rag tapped around here because this, this was leaking a bit. I took it off, cleaned it up, and put it back on. I don't think it's leaking, but I just stuck the rag back on there. It's been an awesome compressor. Had it for a few years and it runs smoothly. I added this drain onto it for draining the oil. Just makes it easier. All I have to do is take this plug cap off, turn the valve, and drain the oil. And I also had an extension down there for draining the water out so I don't have to reach under and put my hands where spiders live. Yeah, I want that. Uh, over here, my bench grinder man mounted on a pedestal. Air hose wound up back there. I keep ear protection and face protection back there. Uh, one of those tool trays. I, I bought 10 of those for 10 bucks on sale online. The guy keeps selling them. I see his ad up there every week. I don't know where he's getting them from, but I don't have any use for anymore. Just a bunch of extra tools in this old gray tools cabinet, mid chest, uh, lower craftsman chest. Uh, I keep various things in here. This one, yeah, that's all welding supplies, welding rods, wire, various things, MIG tips. Uh, this is mostly household tools and stuff I keep in this one. Scissor drawer. Um, yeah, I, I just keep all sorts of junk in that one. And this is my regular toolbox. I've, I've shown this before and what's in it, so no need to go through that. Astro pneumatic boost pack, which is actually over here charging. Awesome. One of the best things I ever bought. That blue toolbox is full of old tools or broken tools that I keep or just tools I don't use anymore. I don't know, I'll use, keep them for modifying or I'm gonna sell them in a flea market or something. Snap on hat, gloves, love these, these grease monkey black gloves. Some lights, it's my, I think I 